There it goes. Oh, this is gonna be amazing. Okay. Hello, YouTube. Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys hey, another episode of Brick Rigs. And today we are back checking out some awesome creations and doing some tower survival. So you can see here, we have a Steve Tower by MML. And uh, I'm actually pretty excited about this one. I, I kind of really dig these uh, character towers, even though they're not the best for survival because they're typically kind of small. But yeah, we're going to try this anyways. And uh, we've got a couple tools here in order to explode some stuff. So anyways, if you guys are excited for some more Brick Rigs on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button. And if you guys have any suggestions for future Brick Rigs episodes, comment below. All right, so as far as what we're using to destroy the towers today, we've got two creations. We've got a cluster nuke down here, and we have this thing. This is basically a fire starter and a bomb. It's the multi-purpose explosive device, and these are by Backstage 75. So, anyways, we're going to try this out. So I think I just click one and it detonates this. Is this a big explosion? Are we about to blow up Steve's head? Here we go, and... Oh, jeez. Wait, what? Oh, you know what? It launches itself up. I feel like this needs to be in Steve's body. Oh, and by the way, Steve's head is a little little messed up looking. It's it's fine. You know, I probably should have tested that. Oh, no, I hit the daubs down here. I forgot I put these down here. It's fine. The daubs are okay. All right, let's go ahead and repair this, and we're going to stick this inside Steve's belly. So we'll go about right here. I have a feeling this is going to destroy everything. This is fine. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Uh oh oh okay so it started all right so we're gonna get up here and let's go hud on we'll go out of god mode all right we'll give it a second to burn steve's insides i know that sounds terrible oh all right here we go first round let's go ahead and start running down we might need more of these i'm not really sure all right so this is gonna be a pretty simple tower i mean you just go right down steve's body you don't go in the arms or anything but i think we're gonna have a bit of an issue here because of the oh Okay, we're gonna have a major issue here. Hold on. Okay, watch the floor. Um, yeah, what I was saying about the smaller towers, if something gets blocked off, you can't get out of them. Uh, hold on, let's go. Oh, okay. I need to get down to this staircase. Okay, oh, don't catch on fire, don't catch on fire. Wait, how am I supposed to do this? Oh, there's a staircase right here. Hold on, hold on. Okay, I'm burning a little bit. Bob's on fire. Oh, no. Okay, 67 health. Come on, come on. Okay, 61. Uh, keep going. Are you serious? Everything's on fire. Wait, is this the exit? Oh, yeah. Uh, that was kind of short, actually. I mean, it's a cool tower, and there's more on the workshop. I think there's a granny one. There's a baldy one, too, that I want to pull out. But I think I want to test this fire starter, this new one, with a big tower, like an XFS tower. But let me go ahead and pull out the baldy one real quick. This one's pretty good. Uh, I think the baldy one might be kind of similar, but we'll see. All right, so I present to you the baldy tower. This one actually is a little bit different. It's got staircases on each side, and they go all the way down in its legs. So, I mean, we could start one right here, and we'll probably hit baldy in the crotch when we fire this off. Oh, this looks uh, pretty deadly. And let's grab one more real quick. All right, so put one right down there, and we're going to stick one right in here. This is fantastic. All right, so say goodbye to Baldy. So let's go one. Okay, there's one down. Uh, Bob's dead. Uh, let's find the crotch one, and fire. Oh! oh, that did not look pleasant. Okay, that did shoot up in his crotch. Oh, his insides are falling out right now. Okay, we're good. All right, so let's start up here. All right, three, two, one, go. Wait, do I start here? Oh, I think I'm supposed to start in his head. Okay, it's fine. Uh, run through here. Oh. Okay, so Baldy had a falling out here with his insides. Uh, here, let's hop mm, over here. Let's hope this staircase might be intact. Uh, is it? Okay, not really, but okay, walk the plank here. <laughs> okay, this is still pretty good, actually. Um, oh, how do I get out of this before he collapses? Oh, he's shaking. Okay, Baldy, just hold it together. I need to get out. Uh, I need to get out somewhere. Uh, maybe. All right, we got to do a leap of faith here. Wait, actually, let's hop to the back. Let's go. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, okay. Oh, wait. I'm in. Oh, on. I, I, I was in God mode. All right, I got to accept my fate here. I'm going to die. 
Yeah, Komodo made a ding-dong mistake. Go ahead. Okay, there he goes. Bob burned. All right, let's go again. This time, I'm not in god mode. I don't know why I did that. I go out or I go into god mode in order to do some of the fire starters. It seems to work a little bit better. Uh, but yeah, we're good. Hey, at least some of the fire is out now. Pawn. So if we can get down... Okay, can I jump this? Okay, let's go. Three, two, one. Jump. Okay, go down here. All right, we'll walk out. This is sketchy. Okay, if I can jump... Ooh, there's still a staircase there. Jump down here. Hmm. Okay, we're good. Uh-oh, uh what the heck? All right, I warped a little bit. Oh, no, I think I'm on fire. Nope. Okay, we're good. We'll use this here. No, are you serious? No, no, okay, Bob's burning. Bob's burning. Go out. Go, 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 go. Wait, how did I not die there? Huh? So, I lost a lot of health, but somehow I didn't burn. Hold on, let's, let's try this again. Let's just step back in the flames. This is toasty. Why am I not... I'm not dying right now. Did I break the flames or the, the fire? Oh, never mind. All right, you know what? I think we need to get out a bigger tower. But yeah, this one's actually really good. Definitely go check these out uh, on the workshop. All right, so for our next round, we pulled out one of the famous X Game Wolf Towers. And what we're going to do, before we stick all of these fire starters inside, uh, we're going to hit it with this. So this is kind of weird so let me spawn over here to this every time i spawn in this if i'm not in god mode i immediately die and i'm not really quite sure why that's a thing but it is but this is a powerful uh, little cluster nuke uh same creator as the fire starter let's go ahead and aim this uh we'll go down a little bit uh we're gonna go in slow-mo if i can so let's go slow-mo uh, okay slow-mo is a little weird so let's activate them, and we're going to disconnect. Watch how fast this thing moves. Actually, I might have just yeeted it over the building. There it goes. Oh, yeah, it's going somewhere else. It's going to a better video right now. Uh, maybe we need to move a little closer. Sorry, Dobbs. I'm going to have to do this. Just tell you guys. Oh, it needs to be aimed this way. Sorry, we're going to do this again. They're like, why are you doing this to us, Komodo? Oh, there we go. <laughs> All right. So let's fire it up again. Uh, let's try to aim it down this time. So go down and release. There it goes. Oh, this is going to be amazing. Okay. Well, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I mean, that's a pretty big explosion, but what do we... Actually, let's see how big the hole is. Oh. Okay, that wasn't... Oh, wait a minute. That actually made a lot of fire there, like... That's surprising. The impact wasn't huge, and there's minimal amount of damage, but the fire spread on that's pretty impressive. Okay, well, that's fine. Uh, let's stick some of these in here. These might be my new favorite thing as far as fire starters, because the little bit extra, like, devastation they cause by shooting upward is amazing. So let's stick these in here. This might be the impossible tower survival because we're creating a bit of a mess right now. Uh, stick one in the lobby here. And then we'll stick another one in the lobby. We're going to try to make this building a little weak. So here we go. Let's start detonating. One. Okay, I died. Uh -huh. Try to switch to another one. I don't know what's going on right now. Okay, let's go two. There goes another one. Okay, that one spread up the side. Uh, hop out. Okay, it's a little hard to navigate right now. Everything's kind of lagging a bit. Okay, let's keep going. There's another one right there. Okay, there we go. Okay, that one's activated. I almost got them all. I think the building is actually collapsing right now. This isn't uh, this isn't good, but this is what I wanted. It's fine. All right, so I warn you guys, it is lagging like crazy right now. All those fire starters have created some sort of monster here. So let's try to get out of this thing. I do apologize for the frame rate. It's uh, kind of tanked right now. It's like really tanked. What did we just do? All right, hold on. I got to clear this up a little bit. Hold on, let me remove some stuff that's not necessary. And we'll see if we can get some of his frame rate back. I'm going to have to delete the, the little daubs and stuff. All right, so we're back in the tower. God mode is off. We're ready to go. It is a slideshow in here. This is a, a little ridiculous, but it's fine. Uh, the tower, I, I think it's just destroyed in like so many different little spots that, yeah, this and the, the 5,000 bricks, it's just not doing very well right now. It's fine. We're just going to use this staircase. It's even hard to walk around because of how laggy it is at the moment. Imagine it, it doesn't look great on the video. Oh, okay. We just got to get out here as quick as possible. We're actually trying to just escape the lag. Hold on. We're almost there. Okay. Oh, this is all on fire. Wait. This isn't the lobby. 
Okay, Han, go up here. Okay. Oh, I think we're gonna make it, Han. Use the door. Open up. And we're clear. We're good. Huh, why is this one lagging so much? That's kind of surprising. Like, it is 5,000 bricks, but we've had 10,000 brick towers, and it hasn't quite reacted like this. Maybe it's something to do with the fire starters. I mean, there is like six of them in there right now. But they did a fair amount of damage. I'm pretty proud of that. That's uh, definitely awesome. All right, so it would be a shame if I didn't highlight some other creations here. So we have a new one by Zigzagger. This is called the Odyssey Class Steampunk Airship. Now, we checked out one. I think it was the Victory Class. Uh, it was months ago. Uh, that was really, really impressive. So I'm really looking forward to checking this one out. And oh, boy. Okay, this is uh, over 3,000 bricks. It is... Wow, this is spectacular looking. Okay, we gotta spawn this, hon. Huh? It's too big, it's fine. Uh, oh, actually it is fine. Uh, let's see, wow, look at this. This is so cool looking. All right, and does it have an interior? Oh, it does. You know, this is just so impressive considering like this is brick rigs, you know, playing this when it first came out, I never ever could have pictured we would be seeing stuff like this. So yeah, this is ridiculous. You got like the captain's quarters up here. Uh, we go down. Of course, you saw the interior there. You have the full deck you can walk on. Does this actually open? I think it does. Yeah, it does. There's a switch here. Oh, that's cool. And of course, this whole thing flies. So I'm going to go over the instructions real quick, and we're going to get this bad boy in the sky. All right, so as far as the controls, it looks fairly simple. So I hit Q, and this is going to start the vertical engines up. So page up and down moves the craft up and down. And then it's a WASD flight. So you can see the backs have started up. Look at that. It's ridiculous how stable this is. So how's the turning? So let's go ahead and start turning. Oh, look how the turning works. That's cool. So we'll turn it this way. We can cruise around the city. You know, with it being 3,300 bricks, that's kind of borderline. Sometimes creations like this, like I wouldn't spawn this in a public server because you don't want to make everybody's day bad. Don't be that person. But if you're there with just your friends, you might try spawning one of these in. And uh, now it does have cannons on it. Hold on, let's go ahead and let it do its thing here. Uh, we're kind of drifting. Hold on, let's turn it, turn it. Uh, try to slow it down just a bit. There it goes. All right. So can we hop off here? Oh, I just hopped off in the wrong spot. Hold on, let's try hopping off on the deck. There we go. So check this out. We can actually walk around on the deck. That's kind of ridiculous. All right, so we can do that. There are cannons in here. Hold on, these? Oh, okay, these actually work. Wait, where's the closest cannon? Is there one on the front here? Oh, there's a cannon down in here. Uh, does this have a seat? Oh, it does. So we can get in the seat here and we can fire the cannon. All right, that is cool. So yeah, you can get you and a group of buddies uh, if you can spawn it, and people can be manning the cannons, uh, destroying Bricksville, doing all the good stuff. That's awesome. So you've got that one. There's a cannon in the back, I know. And then it looks like there's a couple side cannons down here. Oh, there's a little door. Hold on, let's go to the inside real quick. So we can come down here, and then we can hit this switch, and there we go. We're in the front now, so we can hop on these. Oh, is this the same one? I feel like I just switched to the same cannon there. I want to be, I want to be in this cannon right, right here. Can I go in this one? Actually, let's go maybe in this one. Oh, actually, I don't know if I can. S no, that's definitely a seat. Can I sit in this? Oh, it's kind of weird. I, I know I can uh, just switch the seats from in here. I was just trying to see if I can directly. No, I am in the side one. It's just the camera, the way it is. Okay, there it goes. Oh, these are normal guns. Okay, so you can move these around. So that's how that works. Gotcha. So. Of course, it's a fantastic air creation, but there is... Oh, what the heck just happened here? Oh, oh this is fine. So there is one more thing that I want to do with this, and I've got one more creation. Oh, just jump off. Oh, jeez. Huh. Hey, we're good. All right, so the last thing we're going to be checking out, and this is going to go with the airship. This is the HQ-6D homing missile. Uh, I've got the author's name. I'm going to zoom in on it right now. Uh, I don't I don't know how to say that, but yeah, it's a really, really cool so it's WASD drive. We go into alt mode and we'll switch the camera, I guess, to the targeting camera. And then it's just one, two for the missiles here. So we're going to have to take out the uh, the old airship there. Now we're just going to drive this bad boy. We got two huge missiles in the back and we're ready to go. All right, airship is lined up. 
I think we're ready. Let's go ahead. Do we have a targeting cam? I guess that was the targeting cam. Actually, we should probably fire this off first. Wait, are there... Hold on. We can actually prop this thing up. There we go. Now it's stable. So let's go ahead and fire one off just to test. Oh, oh, that is cool. So it, it actually like bursts the cap off. And then the missile comes out. So we're going to go this way. Hold on. Let's make sure we're aimed at it. All right. Three, two, one. Fire. And slow it down. There goes the missile. Oh, it's going to be a direct hit. Oh, that was cool. <laughs> All right. We basically broke it. Uh, we broke it in half. That's a powerful missile. I kind of feel like I want to use that in multiplayer. Sometimes missiles are a little weird in multiplayer. Like they become slightly desynced. But we'll have to see. That was amazing. Uh, let's just watch this thing go down and it's cruising and it's crashing uh do we have fire oh there goes the other engines ah this is great we did it uh oh is it gonna stop there it goes <laughs> well we uh definitely checked out some awesome creations here we had a little bit of tower survival like i said if you have any suggestions for future episodes let me know down in the comment section and we'll see you guys next time on brick rigs